In this video, I am going to cover an innovative product, the Steinbau Power Module for marine diesel engines. I'm going to talk a little bit about what the Power Module actually is, show you how the installation on a 4J H45 motor works, and take you out on a test run on another Leopard 45. Now, this video is not a paid advertisement, but we do have a partnership with Steinbauer. And you know what? We will continue to have partnerships with companies who we think are ethical and make products that are of value to the cruising community. And this is absolutely one of them. And in our opinion, it is one of the best upgrades that we have done to Liger. All right, I see you're wearing your Steinbauer jumper. How much do you love Steinbauer? After that successful undocking. This much. <laughs> Steinbauer is an Austrian company that has been making these power modules for over 20 years. The technology was developed by the CEO, Herbert, who also happens to be a Leopard 45 catamaran owner. And it is through his connection to the catamarans that the power modules for the marine diesel engines were developed. Previously, they were largely used in other applications, including the agricultural industry, commercial fishing, vans, private vehicles, and four-wheel driving, which is where we first heard about Steinbauer when we were living back in Australia. What the Steinbauer power module actually does is it optimizes the fuel injection cycle. And what it does is it calculates how much additional fuel can be added during the main injection and only when under load. It is a plug and play system, which means that it can be removed at any time and it leaves no permanent footprint on your ECU, it changes no safety parameters and it works within the manufacturer's specifications. Now giving you an example, we have the 4 h 45 That is a 45 horsepower engine, but it's actually the same block part for part as the 4 h 57 So if you pay to upgrade your motors, you have to pay to replace your 4 h 45 with a 4 h 57 if you do that swap, all you're really actually changing is the ECU with the tuning. The 4JH45 is essentially a tuned down version of the 4JH57. And this is where the Steinbauer power module can come in. It can optimize your 4JH45 and bring it up to around 60 horsepower. It was initially programmed onto existing Leopard 45s, with it being unnecessary in this instance to remove and dyno the engines. There are a range of benefits that you can experience if you have a Steinbauer power module on your marine diesel engine and you can also increase these benefits if you change your prop size. You can increase your prop size which is something we've done. Increasing your prop size could result in faster acceleration and the pitch can be optimized as well to increase top speeds. This is because the Steinbauer module results in around a 20% increase in your engine's output which is a significant boost in horsepower. As a Leopard owner, this system also removed the need to periodically race the engines to reduce carbon buildup. With the power down tune these engines are on, they tend to choke and lose fuel efficiency over time, creating the need to race the engines. With the units, they run at an optimized air and fuel mixture, no longer rapidly building up carbon in the engines. We installed our Steinbauer power modules back when we were in Croatia in 2022. I know that the owner of Steinbauer has had them on his engines for three med seasons now, and there are other Leopard 45 owners who have now had the technology installed, one of which you will get to see in this video because we did a test run having the module installed on one engine and not the other. If you're already thinking questions about warranty, what I would suggest is go and watch the video that I did with Sherry Dooley Jones. She is the site manager for Steinbauer USA and we visited Michigan last year. We had a look at the facility for ourselves and she answered some really valuable questions about what sets the Steinbauer technology apart and the warranty implications for your engine. Now though, let's get into how the installation works. The good news is it's actually relatively simple and the module itself is plug and play. So anytime you want to take it off, you can.
The module itself is securely fastened to the side of the engine. From there, there is a wiring harness. The plug is on the side. It, it plugs into the module, follows the factory harness up and around the back of the engine. The harness then splits into two tails. One tail will come up the back of the engine where it will plug into its corresponding injector. So the factory injector plug will come off. It will then plug into the female Steinbauer plug. Like so. And then the Steinbauer male plug will go into the injector. Each plug is grouped with each injector I'm going to apply some electrical silicon grease to these fittings to ensure that they are sealed. The other tail of the harness continues across the back of the engine and goes down to where you'll find the starter motor. From there it is connected to a 12 volt positive and the common ground for the engine, thus providing power to the Steinbauer power module. On the end of the harness tail, which supplies power to the Steinbauer unit, you will have two additional wires. One's white, one's grey. And they do not need to be connected for the unit to operate. When installing this system, Tynan begins by laying out the wiring harness working out the placement by starting at the furthest injector and the power source, then working his way back towards where the module will be. The module is placed and connected last. Once he's happy with the placement of the entire wiring harness, including the tail that goes to the injectors and the tail that goes to the power supply, he uses rated cable ties to secure it in place. The wiring's run. Um, the only thing left to do is to cable, mount, cable manage everything to avoid any uh, vibration damage or chafing. So I plug it in, run it for 10 seconds to make sure it starts, and then shut it down. Cable tie everything in, and then run it again. Uh, do your test sale and anything you need to do, um, and also visually inspect the cabling to make sure that it's not rubbing or vibrating on anything whilst the engine's in operation. Once that's done, sorted. Today we're going to be doing a sea trial of the Steinbauer power modules for the Yanmar 4JH45 marine diesel engine. For this sea trial, what we've done is this is the port engine, it does not have a Steinbauer unit on it. On the other side, we have the starboard engine that does have a Steinbauer power module on it and we're going to do a couple of different tests and compare how the boat goes. The first test we're going to do is putting both engines on 1600 RPM and seeing what the Yamaha interface thinks is the difference between the fuel rate of the engine with the Steinbauer power module and the engine without. I know you've got, in theory, Whole lunch, no joke. There's like a thing in the middle of lunch is under. So he had a leverage as well. Damn. Okay. He still got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was first. He did his boat first. And this is uh, interesting to see because just we just like put the units on ours. We didn't do a comparison. Yeah. yeah. So we were like yeah. so much better, but to actually yeah. see. This it. is. Fantastic. This is insane. Still 1600. Okay, speed. Five one. Each test run went up and back on the same stretch of water using points marked out on the GPS. There was an evident difference in what the Yamaha interface thought the fuel consumption rate was, something we'd noticed on our boat too. On our catamaran, 
we also find that we only need to run one engine when previously we would have had to use two as we get more power with less RPM having gone up in prop size. As a last check of the installation, it's valuable to remove the engine cover and check the wiring harness installation with the engine in use and under load so you can observe if there's any unnoticed contact or wear points on any part of the harness that needs securing to prevent the damage over time from vibration. From these tests, we have two very happy boat owners who are looking forward to seeing the fuel savings over time and how that compares to the cost of the modules. It was a product that was initially developed for fun, taking advantage of decades of innovative research and development to adapt proven technology for use on friends' private boats, but is now available to anyone who, for a pretty reasonable price, is able to buy them and put them on their boats. But of course, fun was not the only consideration. Like the owner of Steinbauer, Trent understood that from an engineering perspective, engines are designed and built to operate at a particular efficiency, and depowering them is not optimal for engine longevity or efficiency. Our floating home Liger had these modules installed in 2022, and despite spending extensive time on the hard stand in the last few years, we've still traveled over 5,000 nautical miles with the Steinbauer power modules aboard. We look forward to sharing how they perform for us in future. I know from past experience that as soon as Trent puts this boat into reverse, we are going to feel the difference in the torque and power as we pull off the trailer and relaunch into what will be an entirely new chapter of life for us and for our boat.